all right welcome back so today i'm on the mojave and the v 2.5 outcast now you just saw me do a lot of work to this outcast um in shock tuning which is really amplified the way this uh rc performs so going through it noticed that the 4s backflips are starting to come apart they're cracking all along the edges of both tires and this rc is not that old but by the tire expanding and how hard we can bash this thing now it's literally ripping the tires apart so we're going to upgrade it to the 6s backflips because they are way more durable and it's going to give it just that little bit more of uh, ground clearance that i think this rc needs with the spring upgrade that i did to this rc and the shock tuning adding the taller tire is really going to make this thing perform really well so we're going to pop these 6s ones on like i always say you have to uh you have to look over your rc cars Make sure nothing is breaking, nothing is coming apart, no bearings are freezing up, any of that stuff. And we just went through this whole RC and that's why it's got silver springs up front and the black springs in the back. Um, we went uh, up one pound on the spring preload on the front and then the rear we added double the spacers to get the preload I need for the rear and then thickened up the shock fluid which is really made this RC spectacular it was good before but now it's just amazing so I'm going to get a battery pack in this make sure that uh, that we're good So, the low C's are still here. All cleaned up and ready to rip. Could already feel the sun coming out. going to be another miserable day connect it This RC is such a wicked RC. But the price point on these things, I think, is still off $500. I mean, I guess it's with market with Arma, I mean, with uh, Traxxas. Oh. 
still plenty of punch. You gotta love it. Still plenty of punch. With the 6S backflips, and I didn't expect it to be any different. Uh, they're non-belted tires, which still give you the ballooning effect. It's like gearing up uh, with a with a stronger tire, which I think is really cool. So this one is all ready. So both of these RCs, God, the landing on that is so good. I wanted to give the subscribers an opportunity to uh, to see what it's like to take the mid-grade RCs, uh, the more affordable RCs, with some tuning and just a little bit of money, you can make an awesome RC. So this one with the shock tuning and the tires now, we've added about $200 to this cost because it was about $100 in shock tuning on this thing. Um, but that's all I've really had to do. We're still running the stock electronics and it performs so well. That center diff has made the 4S line really reliable. Now, the slipper clutch did really well. Um, I had no issues with the slipper clutch. What I did notice over time is you had to adjust the slipper clutch. Um, it was a frequent thing. And then every now and then you would break a slipper clutch and have to repair it. This has made the RC way more reliable uh, with the center diff. Um, it's basically maintenance free with that center diff. We did do tuning on it and the tuning is set. Another fan favorite of mine is the Mojave 4S. When they came out with this 4S line, it really opened up the whole market to a lot of new enthusiasts, which I really love. And uh, this RC, the only issue I really had with this was these posts. And as you see, there's four O-rings. Oh, there's the train, four washers. And uh, that stops the body from uh, sticking on the chassis. I didn't want to drill out the chassis like Arma suggested to give it more clearance because all that's going to do is allow bigger sand pebbles to get in there and then pack even tighter. So doing the washer trick, because they beveled this, if they would have just made that flat, it would have been a lot better. But when you bevel it, it forces all the sand like a funnel down into that hole and then the body gets stuck. So by taking the bevel away with the washer to keep the dirt out, or I mean the O-ring to keep the dirt out, and then the washer to make it flat, it's literally stopped that issue, which I think is excellent. Grab another 4S pack. I try to keep the 4S line as uh, some RCs that are like ready to rip all the time. I believe this is the remote for this one. I usually get rid of these uh, these doubles because I always run a single pack but on this one <clears throat> I kept it for now so but that's normally something I would do is eliminate to run two 2s's I just don't have any 2s stuff so I just usually eliminate that like I did on the on the outcast that's on Oh, you hear the connect, but it, I haven't run this one in a little while. Um, even though I like the 4S Mojave, it's just one of those RCs that I'm at the point where I'm not running very often. I run the Outcast way more. 
and the suspension on this is dialed uh oh wrong remote all right so <laughs> the reason the radio didn't bind up i forgot i pulled the receiver out of this and stuck it in the big rock when i was having the big rock esc issues and i never bound up uh the radio back to it so gotta bind the mojave but that brings me to today's video so the 4s outcast and the 4s mojave people were asking for cheaper rcs that i'm going to get rid of both of these are going to go um both in great working order basically the 4s outcast shock tuning 6s tires 6s springs on the front and it's dialed same thing with the mojave i did shock tuning on it and i did a spring tuning on this as well and it really performs well you can check back in my earlier videos of when i did this because they both were slapping chassis really hard so i had changed out the springs on the mojave it was the first one i did this way that's why you see you'll see a long spring up front you'll see a shorter spring in the back with some spacers and the tuning is amazing shock fluid change as well with this rc and that rc both dialed in uh, i know a lot of people have a hard time uh, tuning suspension so this will give you the opportunity to get an rc that's been tuned by me the way i love to run the rc and how well implanted these are so um, basically it's going to be 350 a piece for these things which is in my opinion dirt cheap considering by the time you do the 6s tires and you do the shock tuning on these things you end up with a couple hundred dollars into the rc um, but like i said it, it's not strictly about the cost on these things it's i want subscribers to experience this stuff i don't want them to be shelf queen i know a lot of people bought the x, x max ultimates from me and uh, they want to shelve it like i said that's why I run them. Um, they need to be runners. Now, are you going to beat an ultimate to death? I don't think so. You're going to do that? Buy yourself a beater X-Max and beat the heck out of that. Um, but you can still have fun ripping an RC without worrying about damaging it. And that's where the 4S line really comes into play. When you tune these shocks properly on this light chassis with a single 4S pack, they handle amazing arma nailed it on the newer versions of the 4s line their original versions of the 4s really did suck and uh i have the original 4s uh, outcast i ended up putting about 500 dollars, 600 dollars into that rc to handle um what these do out of the box now my version one is on 6s these are on 4s but with the motor combination and the ESC and the tuning to the ESCs, these things have plenty of power. And you can have a lot of fun on a single pack. So for me, <laughs> these are two fine examples from Arma. And I think some of the best 4S RCs on the market for bashing. For ripping around the yard, doing some jumps. Um, once you tune the suspension and you eliminate that chassis slap that's really hard you're not running the risk of breaking the chassis you're not landing on the chassis now if you send it you know 10 15 20 feet in the air and you come down of course it's going to slap the chassis but from a five foot jump that's why you always see me drop testing the rcs from a five foot jump this thing should land without slapping that chassis on the ground and that's where shock tuning and spring rate really plays a big part on your rc and i'd love for you guys to enjoy these so um emails in the description i keep telling people these will be 350 a piece um and good luck to everybody out there 550 dollar rcs that you guys can pick up for 350 bucks that have already been tuned that already have the upgrades needed to have fun but there you go like comment subscribe and we'll catch you guys on the next video. 
and hopefully these losies will be going to somebody who wants to get their feet wet in the fifth scale market um, with amazing power but we'll see a lot of emails sitting in there nobody's pulled the trigger on it yet but we'll come to find out 950 for the low c's 350 for the 4s line 8s versus 4s you can't beat it so there you go guys get out there rip some rc's i'm gonna have some fun um cleaning up some rc cars man i got 100 rc's to go through um and when you go through them one by one when you're getting rid of stuff you have to make sure everything works you for me i can't sell something knowing something is broken and that's why i take all this time to do these videos and go through the rc and make sure that they're serviced so that you can throw in a battery pack or in these case with the low seas bind your radio and go out and rip and have a good time but stay tuned like comment subscribe We'll catch you guys on my next video. Thanks for watching. Man, I love these RCs. Arma nailed it with this 4S line. So cool.